Can you hear that crunch? Join me on this video to learn how to get the perfect crunch. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another potato recipe for you guys. This recipe requires just a few ingredients and the best part of this is that you can make a large portion and store in the freezer and use whenever you're ready to. So I'm going to start off by grating my sweet potatoes. You need to be mindful of your hands. So most hash brown recipes use Irish potatoes, but we are going to be using sweet potatoes to make these hash browns. So after grating the sweet potatoes, I'm going to grate one bulb of onion. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is adding hot water to the grated sweet potatoes and onions. You could either choose to do it this way or you could parboil it for about one to two minutes any way you prefer once the time is up i'm going to strain the grated potatoes and onions and the next thing i'm going to be doing after straining this is adding cold water to this and the reason for adding cold water is one to stop the cooking process from the hot water and secondly to reduce the starch contents from this potato next thing i'll be doing is straining the potatoes using a cheesecloth if you don't have a cheesecloth you could use a napkin but getting a cheesecloth is actually easy you could either check online or you could get from your local market if you're in nigeria just ask in the market for the cloth for sieving pap akam ogi and they're going to give it to you make sure you squeeze properly to get out all the water if you can't do it at once you could do it in batches so now that that process is complete i added black pepper salt i'm going to be adding egg which is going to act as a binding agent and i'm going to be adding flour and corn flour for this i used the gluten-free flour but you could use regular all-purpose flour So just mix everything properly to combine. After mixing the potatoes, the next step will be to form the hash brown shape. I use the third of a cup and I'm just going to fill up the cup, press down, form into a ball and shape just like as you can see in the video. So I'm going to follow this technique till I exhaust the potatoes in my bowl. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to transfer it to the freezer for about 15 minutes and once it sets, I'm going to transfer to a ziplock. You know I told you that I'm, I'm going to make a large batch and I'm going to store it for whenever I need it. The best way to store your hash browns is in the freezer. So you could just take it out from the freezer and fry it for breakfast. So the next step for me is frying. So I'm just going to fry the hash browns in vegetable oil. Allow each side to get brown completely so that the inside gets done before flipping over and taking out. I'm also going to be showing you guys the second set of hash browns that were in the freezer. And it follows the same process. Allow one side to brown, flip, fry the other side. And when it's totally brown, you take it out and this gives you very crispy, delicious hash browns. You could enjoy your hash browns with eggs, ketchup, chili sauce or whatever you prefer. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!